I think everyone has been cyberbullied. I mean, it's kind of sad to say, but everyone has had that experience. Someone is hurting someone else's feelings, and two, it's them being fake. Back when I was in grade 12, there were a group of students who had made a private Facebook group. Um, and in this Facebook group, um, they had uh, taken pictures and comments and um, a lot of information off of people's profiles and they had posted them onto this uh, private group where all of these people uh, had access to privately and um, they would just talk about people's lives and make fun of their pictures, make fun of the comments that had gone on between um, friends commenting on those, those people's uh, profile pictures and things like that. My best friend, she had lost her father that year and due to the stress and the grief and the hardship that she was going through, she had actually gained some weight. Um, and I mean, that was something that they poked fun at and that was something that they had gone out and posted this picture of her. What happened was they had come to me and said, hey, Sandra, you know, I know we, we said these things about you and I know uh, you must really hate us and you must really be upset, but um, we know how you are. We know you're a good person. We know that you're a peaceful person. Uh, so please, can you speak to these other people and tell them to just accept our apology and to not, um, you know, just to back off and leave us alone because we made a mistake. And I, I, had, I had said, you know, like, I can accept your apology and I can handle things my way, but I can't control what other people want to do. not define you. You define yourself. 
when you call out someone one-on-one, -on -one, instead of giving them the ability to kind of be macho in front of other people, and you're by themselves and it's just them, who they really are, it's, it's a different situation. What matters is what you think about yourself and what matters is how you feel about yourself. And if you feel that you know you don't you lack self-love, then work on that. Cyberbullying and the bad effects of social media. It's it's nothing to be afraid of because social media is a good tool, like Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr. You connect with people around the world. It will get better. It will get better.